You're welcome in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Great, great privilege we have to have you in church. You're welcome. You are welcome. We are not just saying you are welcome. You are welcome in Jesus' name. If you have ever entered the plane, I have given that example before. As soon as seated, the pilot will say, you are welcome to this flight. Why do they say that? They want to gain your confidence. Because among those who are in the plane are those who have not seen themselves landed. Some will call their, their people. But you walk in here. Emma Dakar do. Do I don't know whether I told you what but I never or never shared with us, but I'll devil me. But I'll show our devil me. He said he was in his place of work. You know, he works with secondary school in a way. And then his phone rang. It was his wife. We left home quite, quite, a, quite not that long ago. Why is this madam calling me? He picked the phone. The wife said, My dear, Tori, hold up. 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 He entered ferry from a, from a, that uh, Dangote terminal. Uh -huh. He entered the ferry from that terminal. He entered the ferry from that terminal. I said, bro, why are you trying to talk like that? Now? He said, because I'm going to go to the ferry. I'm going to go Brother, look at me very funny. <laughs> you are welcome in Jesus' name. Strength will not fail you. Grace shall be multiplied to you. Psalm 4 is what I want to read to you. During the few minutes I have, this is a celebration Sunday. And for those of us who don't know, we're supposed to start our anniversary tomorrow. The 32nd anniversary. But we're going to make it a low key. A low key in the sense that during the week we'll be having Bible studies. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just normal program. But on Sunday, Sunday will be the tenth. The tenth. One of our sisters here, her birthday is on the anniversary day, Gongo. Eighth of we we'll call her no, Naomi is nine. It's Elizabeth. We call her Sister Cornerstone. 8th of September that the church began. So next week, Sunday, if we don't share with you, it's not because we have nothing to share. Just celebrate and thank him. Are you there? For his faithfulness. For those of us who used to have normal, I mean, who used to have annual clothes, tell your tailor to sew it very fast. If you don't see rice and something, don't worry. Let us celebrate. To the party, a low rice is in coffee. Call it. Are you there, Connie? We just want to celebrate the goodness of God. Praise the Lord. You know, in those days, I used to wear a wrapper. I thought I was from Delta State. But I was angry now. I didn't know I should be wearing Yoruba. Like my chest, want to wear Yoruba. You can't wear Yoruba. We just thank him for who he is. Psalm 4. Are you there? Psalm 4. Let's rise up in power to read the eight verses. Line by line. Rise up in power. One, two, go. Verse one. Answer me when I call to you. Hello, hello. Some people have not found it. Psalm what? Please tell your neighbor it's not Psalm 14. It's Psalm 4. Please, we want you to read to what? One, two, go, verse 1. Yes. I 
How long, O oh men, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call to him. Verse 4 together. In your anger, do not sin when you are in on your bed. Search your hearts and be silent. Verse 5. Offer right sacrifices and trust in the law. Verse 6 together. Many are asking. Verse 7 together, please. You have filled my heart with greater joy. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O oh God, make me dwell in safety. All of us, that verse 8, I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O oh Lord, shall we pray. Our Father, we are grateful for this privilege. A time like this, as your word comes, feed us. We receive concentration. We receive understanding. Let only your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we have agreed. Please be seated. You are welcome again in Jesus' name. I want to read verse 6. Verse 6. Psalm 4 and verse 6. Many are asking. Abi. Who can show us any good? Let the light of your face shine upon us. Verse 7. You have filled my heart with greater joy than when the grain and the new wine abound. You have filled my heart, verse 7, with greater joy. With greater joy. There is the joy that grain and wine brings. Bring. But there is a greater joy. There's a greater joy. I want to show you, within the few minutes I have, reasons why God commands us to be joyful. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. To anybody who has not known the Lord Jesus as his or our Savior, you may not understand what that means. But many who have received the Lord as their Savior don't understand it too. To be joyful is a command. It has nothing to do with your environment. Philippians, Abi, chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Eh? If you tell those who are around now, there used to be a time when we were using record. Music was on record. That record. You know when the when the pin had it can be on the same spot. It can be singing the same thing. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. What will make God? To give a command. And he said, Rejoice. There are many reasons why we don't need to rejoice physically. But it's not moved by your physical appearance at all. A scripture says, In your spirit, when you are weak, your body will have problems. But even in your sickness, when there is life in your spirit, there will be, when there is joy in your spirit, your body will respond. So the body responds to the joy in the spirit. One of the most tedious work of a pastor is to deliver bad news. 
because you don't know who you are going to meet or what is going to happen. But I say one of the most dangerous work to do is to deliver good news to somebody whose spirit is down. Because they will not believe you. I'll give you a picture. In any environment, and I've said that before here, there's always God's representative. It's either they are the beginning of the street, or in the middle, or at the end. But one boy is representing If the person is missing in the street, that street will be oppressed. But there will always be one. When the Lord sends an errand, he's not expecting the carrier of the message to look at the faces of those he's going to deliver it to. That's why it's dangerous to be a preacher. Somebody said, there are many preachers, but very few pastors. And I concur. Sir, I hold the mic to preach does not make me a pastor. Because to be a pastor, you must have a large heart. To be a preacher, you can do whatever you want to do and live. There was famine in Israel. And the famine was caused because many bloodshed had gone under. Ahab has succeeded in decimating people, killing them. If you, do not, if you did not serve his God, he will kill immediately. And Ahab was married to a woman who loved blood. Ahab had concubines. But in Israel, there was a man. Before he became a prophet, he was a man. And he remained a man. Elisha. Man, we don't need Elisha in our time because the spirit better than what Elisha carried is here. We don't need Elijah in our time. We don't. And Elisha was in Dalton, a very small portion of Israel. But he was there as God's representative, to tell the people what the Lord wanted. The famine was so much that palliatives could not meet it. I tell you what I know. Not what somebody told me. I was washing my car. In our area, we have these boys who are always you will see them smoking, playing bangulumo. Bangulumu, I will not explain to some other time. All manner of things. One of them came to my area because all of them know me. They say, ah, ba 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 wonio, ba ba ba. Whatever we have, something we just tip them, we give them, sometimes we call them, you know. As he was going, he was sweating. He was sweating. And they also know that I will not allow them to wash my car. They tried all they could. They came as a team. Baba, Egya man for fun yi mole me. Eko ni moti wa. Ibi te dimi for ni mi roti mamis. Kolo nko wa yoni. Who will you ask? Baba Egya ba yi for. As he was passing, he said, Baba ki le fi. Eh? Ebi yon pa mo mo. Pa liye ti zo ni yo wa. I just looked at him and said, She ben yi le vote vun. They are suffering. They are suffering. Go in. It got time in Israel. The women were killing their children to for food. It will not be our portion. You didn't hear me. It will not be our portion. Because there was desperation to live. But there was a man in Israel. A man who had God's authority. Scripture says, as the king was passing on one of the, the walls, two women ran to, to him and they said, look, something had happened. When they were come, they said, am I God? The king was right. He was not God. But he had a God. 
in Israel that he despised. And that was Jehoram, the son of Ahab. Where am I going? Scripture says, as he was communing with the elders, that's Elisha now, Ahab made up his mind to kill him. Look at what he said. Because God will not say what you will like. He said, by this time tomorrow. Simply put. By this time tomorrow, there will be abundance. But there was famine. What did Elisha see? Elisha has seen behind the famine, the abundance. Now, I am not going to repeat how they got the abundance, but how what, the arrangement of heaven. They were going to see abundance without planting. Without harvest. Nobody was going to farm. They were sure that the abundance was already at the gate. Because those who came to kill them, they brought food. When the prophet spoke, he only spoke what was in the mind of God. Just as you are hearing me this morning, joy has come. Amen. The command is be joyful. Joyful. What is this person is talking about? Joyful. Joyful when fuel is on. So, there are people when they are leaving the, the church all that they have had, you will still see them saying, Ah, I'm a yari bo. He put that in one. Hey, you just left his presence, and his presence has not left you. Tomorrow, schools are resuming. As they are hearing, be joyful. You just joyful, okay? What if baby will be nepa? What joyful is that? Hear me clearly. When God commands a thing, He's bound to make it happen. When there is a command to do a thing, He has made all grace available for that thing to happen. The Lord will not say rejoice. He will not say be joyful because you can comprehend it. But He will say be joyful because He has done it. Not because you can comprehend it. I give you the reasons that I'll be out of the way. When Elisha spoke, he spoke what God has said. And thank God for those who know how to oppose what God has said. Because the person who opposed God thought he was opposing Elisha. He said, even if the heavens were to be opened, and the same are still in this household. In church every day. Brother Bala will bear me witness. Femi was also there. Kosegbe was there. I'm sorry, is it Kosegbe? And Kosegbe was there. When one person told us boldly. And said, you don't need to pray for this country anymore. I said it boldly. I said, you cannot pray for the wicked and they will change. Stop praying. I said to myself, Lord, I thank you for the little knowledge I have. That I don't have the knowledge of those who have gone not only to seminary, but they have gone to more than seminary. The Lord is not saying you should pray for your country or pray for the land because those who are there are good. He said, pray that you may have peace. Don't let me say more than that. A time will come, we open it tomorrow. So why would the Lord say we should rejoice when there are school fees to be paid? Because there are people who are here, no amount of, they are, they are here to worship God sincerely, but the heart is no longer, it's not here. Not that they are not members, they are still part of us, you are part of us, but your heart is so heavy with the problem around. Hear me clearly, it is those who are alive I can see solution. Can I, it's those who are, they can what? See solution. Those 
those who despise what God has said, they don't see solution. Why? They are moved by their understanding. The just shall live by faith. Faith is not vague. Faith is a reality. Why would God say joys? Why would he command us to be joyful? Number one, the word joy is, the, is part of the fruit of his spirit. And if we have received the spirit, one of the part of that fruit is joy. He said, the fruit of the spirit is love. The next one is joy. Peace. Patience. And the fruit of the spirit cannot be qual qualified by human understanding. You can't quantify it too. How can you be joyful when there's nothing in your pocket? Sir, when you are joyful, when there's nothing in your pocket, you are telling God, I am not serving you because you give. I am serving you for who you are. And so we have watered down the gospel because you want to be acceptable to people. Oh, when you come to my church, in one week you will change your car. When you come to my church, mine not will, mine you, I will, mine. The owner remains the owner. The church of God. The church of the Holy Spirit. The church of Jesus Christ. It doesn't belong to Mashola. So the day he says, mine, begin to suspect him. If you join our church, before you know it, you'll just be hearing a lot. Here, left, right, and center. Why? A man's life. Know the scripture. Is he saying you don't, you don't need to have? No, he's not saying so. What he's saying is this, let me be in charge. When I'm in charge, I can order you. Your friends should not be in charge. Your parents should not be in charge. Respect them, honor them, but let the Lord be in charge. The first thing is that because the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Number two, why he wants us to rejoice always. Nothing will strengthen your faith but joy. Why? Faith is not what somebody says. Is the evidence of what you have not seen. In the new study, strength for the journey. Look at what Jesus told them. He said, Go into the next village. You will see a donkey tied and a colt beside. You. When you get there, untie it. When they ask you, Why are you untying it? Tell them, The master. Needs it. And scripture says they went out the village. See, when they were going, they were not going because they had confidence. They were going because he said they should go. And when they got there and saw the donkey, they did not, of course, they would have greeted the people as they were untying the donkey. Bible says, and they asked them, Hell, where are you taking this donkey? Said the master needs it and beautiful they didn't they didn't harass them but where i got my first jolting the donkey did not resist because the word that came with them had also spoken to the donkey the lord will answer you Amen. we did not read psalm 4 to while they waited the lord will answer you Amen. See, when people threaten you and they have connection, the best you can do is to be joyful. <laughs> because the person who is threatening you is also breathing. Hey, oh. When things, when you don't understand the thing, don't threaten anybody. Can I come close? Growing up on the Lagos Island, there was a man any small thing, the man will say, I will go home for you. I will, that's, he will go home. I will go to his house. Any small harassment, I will go to This particular day, a man now was just joking. He said, I will go to the house. The man just slapped him. And this man that said, I will go to the house, collapsed on the floor. 
I did not wake up. They were now wondering, ah, he said, I will go home. I will go home. How come they did not wake up? I shake was going like here. He only had. And in Lagos, you must, if you don't have mount, you must have what to trust. I said what? Purposely. Purposely. Your faith is strengthened when you are joyful. If you are joyful because you have, when you don't have, sadness will cover you. But if you are joyful for whom you have, oh my God, you will walk on waters. The Lord will answer you. Please, when I say it, tell so the Lord will answer you. The Lord will answer you. Don't look at those who threaten you. I will deal with you. I will do this. I will. It's not. It's not in noise. The person is threatening, and you are laughing. Secular like, you, know, you won't know what it means until you have passed through some of my things, my experiences. When I was using Primera, Nissan Primera, I had the cause to go towards Maryland. And a man stopped us. A policeman stopped us. He wasn't wearing uniform. But the person that was wearing uniform said, Yeah, take them to Area F. I said, When are we going? I knew nobody in Area F. But I know that area F is not meant for animals. And I have not offended you. But yeah, come out! Come out of the vehicle! So I came out. I was smiling. My smile made the man angry. I mean, it was it was rotful. Eh, you are laughing at me because I have tried by Mac. I'm on the It's from Benway, maybe the Kogis, Kogis side. Walk by, walk by, walk by. There was no space on his face. So he said, You are laughing at me because of my travel. I said, I was just smiling. Sir, you are going to the AF. You are. The person went out of my car, and so we drove towards the AF. As we were entering the AF, lo and behold, we met a woman who had three stars. The woman was coming from her office. The person who took us where they have, oh, disappear. The young man disappeared. The man that had that, he stayed in Maryland. So the woman was wondering because he saw the sticker. He said, Pastor, what are you doing here? I said, They said I was using tinted glass. He said, That's how the car was bought. He said, Where is the person? We're looking for the person. The woman was angry. She now called a subordinate. The person you call, Mombele Bababado. She go yoba. Money mo go yoba sa. Talo mo in. I mentioned. You know what he said in Yoruba language? He said, and that person is a Christian. He said, that person that caught you is a Christian. Show malo mo mo alufa ni yene. Emma lo sa. Emma lo. When I entered my car, the woman said, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, make way for him, make way. Clear all the, clear all the place. There was behind him. I was smiling the more. It is when your papers are not okay that you can't smile. My papers were intact. Driver's license intact. Brethren, any believer who breaks rules, ask yourself, Are you a believer? Papers were intact. Don't tell me because you serve God you can break rules. No. Joy strengthens your faith. There are times you just lie down. Don't know why you're happy. You are happy because heaven is happy. They know that what will what will what we answer for you is with you. It will answer your prayers. In the name of Jesus. Number three reason why he wants you to be joyful. Sir, joy. I am not talking about the one that is propelled by comedy. Joy is your strength. 
the joy of the Lord is our strength. There are those who get strength by the food they eat. There are those who get strength by the, by the drugs they take. If you must know, there are those who get strength by injection. They must inject them. There are those who get strength by drugs. But those strengths, they fade with time. Our own strength comes the joy of the Lord. Ah, people of God, when you are joyful, you cannot lack strength. What do you do with the strength? You can oh, and be a good witness to anybody. There are those who are afraid of witnessing to others because you don't have what they have. Oh, you don't know what they're talking about. He said, because, because the person is driving an expensive car. If Philip was thinking that way, the Ethiopian eunuch would have entered hell. If Philip was thinking like you. Bible says, and they was by the Spirit. And he found himself and the Ethiopian eunuch, a minister of finance, that, has, that has, the certificate is intact, NYSE has had, you know, and was, and was reading. And as he was, he was going over the scriptures, you can carry Bible. In those days, anybody who had a part of the Bible is wealthy, was wealthy. The man was reading Isaiah. And as he was reading, he said, as he read it long, Philip joined him. And scripture says, he asked the question, do you understand what you are reading? He said, how will I understand except somebody will tell me? That is what God is waiting for. That's why many people don't like it. When they call for outreach, all of us should run to this place. But because of joy, outreach, I have not eaten today. Maybe you don't know. When you do his bidding, he has not failed to do your bidding. Is our strength. Let me ram it in by saying this. When Jesus was arrested, those who arrested him were laughing at him. Right there and there, the servants of the high priest slapped him. All those who were around, they had run away. He never said a word. He kept on moving. When he was brought before Pilate, the soldier's whip was used upon him. One would have thought that Jesus would have died before getting to the cross because the blood that left him was much. Moses did not see it. Only David had an idea of what he, was going, what he would go through. But the Hebrews account says, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. See, if you have to write an exam again, write. And when you write, because there is a joy before you, you will, not, you will not fail. If you have to lose a thing because somebody is harassing you, don't be afraid. Better thing will come. In the name of Jesus. When you make noise, give your life to Jesus. Many people think, I am going to lose my friends. Lose your friend and gain heaven friends. Some will say, people will not respect me. Who wants to? Who is looking for man's respect? As they are respecting you in front, they are busy you behind. So what is the issue? It was because the Lord was looking at something. Sir, one Roman soldier was equated to a hundred civilians. The way they were trained. And a battalion, I was told, if I am wrong, please bear with me, but I want to be corrected. A battalion is 540 soldiers. Now, more than that, sir, let's say about 600 soldiers to arrest one person. And your kid obey. Because they were not sure of those who were available to him. The apostles have left. Some of us don't have parents again. If you have your parents, take care of them, I beg you. I beg you, take care of your parents. If you don't have parents like me, don't mock me, because I have more parents. 
am I communicating? Where am I going? Physical things, you may be shut off. Please, don't be shut of heavenly help. And you will not be shut of heavenly help. Amen. Oh, for the joy that was set before him. Yes, he was slapped. He kept on looking at the joy. He was mocked. He had been betrayed. Look, when a man betrays you, you will not trust any man again. And so people have come up with all manner of humor. They will tell you, all men are useless. All women are witches. All these, when you talk like that, you are a person under depression. Because if you say all women are witches, include man. If you say all men are wicked, including your father. But because they are short of brain, they generalize. Hear me clearly. Everybody will answer for himself. So when you are leaving this place, after a few minutes, let the joy of the Lord radiate through you. Don't look at the exams you are going to write. Exams come, exams go. Why X stays. Are you there? Challenges come. Challenges go. Life continues. Are you there? Before you and I came, people had been before us. Where were you when Lagos was under Fernandez? The Salvadors. Where were you when Lagos was being controlled by the Pereiras? The Doatis. Today, nobody knows them. Emilio Kolo and Bensi. Tomorrow, somebody else will come in. Am I communicating? Life continues. Don't let situation in life cripple your joy. You come back from work. Food is not ready. You want to break, let heaven, all hell break loose. Now food not ready, not be your life. Don't. You ask your husband for money. He did not listen on time. If you get it. Most marriages shake in our generation because there are too many threats. There are too many threats. If you don't give you the money, somebody else will give you the money. It should not come out from the mouth of a believer. Many years ago, somebody very close to me, but not my wife, my mom, said, I want to do, we have contribution in our, in our group, Shekiri Young Women's Association. I want you to give me 10,000 naira. How much was I earning? 350 naira. Not thousands, sir. That was my every month pay. 350. And I told my mom, I can't give you 10,000. This is just 350. And she said, those who are not up to you, they give their mothers that. I said, I am not up to those who are not up to me. She was angrier. I said, do you want me to steal? She kept quiet. By the time she spoke, if not for the joy of the Lord, because she said, are you any better? Go and steal. Many years later, not many years, in just three or four years later, I was able to give my mom more than that. And I reminded her, you said, you said that was the days of ignorance. I said, yes, ma. Sir, the person you are seeing today is not the person you will see tomorrow. Because by this time tomorrow, you will be better than this. Amen. Bigger than this. In the tall knowledge of God's word. Yeah. Amongst us are commissioners ready. Yeah. DGs ready. Yeah. The Nigeria I see, sir, you will be better than this. Yeah. But because you don't know, you are only seeing what you are seeing. You are angry. 
you are irritant. You talk anyhow. Most young ladies, they don't want to be patient. One said, my father was so poor. I feel like killing him. Kill him. I will advise you, kill him. Pastor. And you will not be killed. That is what the devil can do to a person that submits to him. Maybe you don't know. Your father may be nothing. It, is, it has not stopped you. The fact that you came through him, God wants to make you a witness. A witness. Be joyful because the father we are serving is a joyful father. Shall we rise up? You will not beg. Amen. You will not borrow. Amen. You will not beg. Amen. Whatsoever crippled those before you shall be stepping stones to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not beg. Amen. All that is affecting your heart, bringing your head down, will command them to fade away. Amen. Say to yourself, of the the joy of the Lord is my strength. Say it to me. Say it to me. I have the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord guards my family. My family is ruled by the presence of the Holy Spirit. Don't let neighbors bamboozle you. Don't let friends lure you away. Stay with him. They that trust in him shall not be put to shame. I can assure you, shame is not your portion. It's not. I say it's not. It's not what? All eyes. All eyes. Close. All hearts. Lifted unto heaven. It doesn't matter how heavy the challenge is. God's presence is heavier than the challenge. I ask. Let the presence of the Lord overshadow you. Amen. Let your confusions fade away. Amen. Fade away. Amen. Fade away. Let the joy of the Lord clothe you like garment. Amen. Like garment. Amen. One prayer point. As we raised it on the 1st of September. Throughout the rest of this month, say with me. I shall be held. I shall receive assistance. From the left, from the right. From the front to the back. Open your mouth and ask for it. Through the month of September, the Lord will surround you with assistance. You will be surrounded with assistance. Please don't close your mouth. I am begging you, don't close your mouth. All you just need is to ask for it. For it, ask for it, ask for it, ask. For it. That has been our agreement since the 1st of September. The Lord will assist you. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Please don't look at your neighbor. Leave your neighbor. It's time to focus on him. Oh God! I need you stands in this area it will dispatch those who will assist you the Lord will assist you in the name of Jesus Lord we receive your assistance in the name of Jesus Lord we receive your assistance in the mighty name of Jesus receive your assistance in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we receive your assistance